Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video and it's monthly awards time again for Liverpool. It's been a nightmare month, September, just the one win out of six. So, I mean, last month when we did this, it was much more of a positive show. Uh, lots of players to choose from when it came to player of the month and surprise package and goals and stuff. This time, not so much. Obviously, it started off with a 5 0 defeat at Man City after the international break, uh, and we haven't really kicked on from there. We got the win at Leicester, which a lot of the awards in this will be based on. Um, but, you know, so we got goal of the month, flop of the month, surprise package of the month, moment of the month, and of course, player of the month. So, the player of the month holder is Sadio Mane at the moment. As you can probably guess by his suspension after the red card at Man City, he will not be winning at this time, so we'll have a new holder of that award, and the rest will all be given out to new people too. So, let's get into it with Goal of the Month. Now for that, uh, I'm going for a recent one, I'm going for Mohamed Salah's goal against Leicester. Uh, we scored three good goals in that game, three very different goals. Um, Henderson's one on the counter-attack was lovely, great football, great vision from Sturridge to find him, and a good finish. Coutinho's free kick obviously was you know, vintage feel and just the sort of thing we, we really missed in, in the first few games of the campaign, so great to have him back. But the Salah goal was just... Was just Proper parity emotion, um, you know, to, to use a cliche there. I mean, Coutinho's cross is just completely on point. Uh, and Salah, who'd missed a, an easy chance uh, slightly before this, a real tight angle, just diverts it in with his head. Lovely finish, uh, really came out of nowhere. Opened the score against Leicester, really important goal too. Um, just, thought it was, just thought it was our best goal. I mean, the goals against Sevilla in the Champions League were, were pretty scrappy. Um, the, the first goal was nice, uh, but the, the, then Salah gets deflected. Salah's goal against Burnley was okay. Um, you know, nothing spectacular there. Than I really did like Coutinho's goal against Spartak like Moscow. Lovely one too with Mane, but Salah's one against Leicester just about pips it for me. The importance of it obviously helps, but it's just a wonderful cross from Coutinho. Exactly what we've been missing, and a lovely header uh, to finish it off. Really quick fire goal. Great stuff. Flop of the month. Now, this isn't entirely the player's fault. Um, but I have to give this to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He came in for £40 million on deadline day and so far the impact has been minimal. Um, he's only made one start and that, that kind of contributes to, the, to why he is flop of the month. He's not started any league games or Champions League games. He's just made that one start in the League Cup against Leicester when he played on the right-hand side of the front three and he was a dreadful that night. Liverpool, Liverpool were poor. It, it, you know, I'm not judging Oxlade-Chamberlain already. I still like him as a player. Um, he was really poor that night. He obviously didn't get to play midfield, which he had been annoyed about. Uh, in general, he's just not got on the pitch enough. And, and again, that, that's partly down to Jurgen Klopp. Um, that, that's his mindset. Uh, a lot of our fans are already starting to write Oxford Chamberlain off. Is he actually even that good? You know, £40 million is a huge, huge outlay for him, more than we paid for Salah. Um, so, look, it's a bit of a concern that he hasn't hit the ground running. You'd, you'd want that from a player that costs as much as he did, and a player with the potential that he has, and the, the pace and ability and stuff. But he's only made fleeting appearances. The odd cameo in games where he struggled against the likes of Burnley at home. And uh, yeah, it's just not been his time. He's not scored or assisted or anything of note yet. So look, in October we're going to need to see some sort of improvement. If Whether he gets more starts in the league, I'm not sure. Um, but he has to have the flop of the month. He's not impressed. He's been okay, like I say, he's been okay when he's come on in the league. He, I mean, he did nothing at Man City. Um, his best appearance was probably the, the one at, uh, at Burnley. Um, we go against Burnley, and again that, that was only for a few minutes. So difficult to difficult to really give him too high a score. I think he came on against Leicester away um, in the league as well and did all right, but uh, not been his month. Surprise package. Now this is a tough one to, to go for. Really, I mean, only winning one game. Um, no one's really jumped out for us as, as someone that has performed above expectations. That's what this award's for. But I'm gonna give it to Alberto Moreno. Um, surprise package of the month just because he's been hanging on in hanging on in there I mean I, I thought by now he'd have made two or three huge huge mistakes that would have cost us goals uh, and he'd be out of there and we'd see Robertson starting but he's still Klopp's first choice left back which I find staggering I mean I, I, he wouldn't be my first choice but I still don't particularly like him or rate him and I still think there is a big mistake in him uh, you know a, a points costing mistake in him in the next few weeks you know, I don't, don't want to slag the guy off without any justification but he's done it time and time again before but he does get some praise from me for September because he just hung in there he did okay I mean he was not directly responsible for many goals he's, he's been far from perfect um, but against Sevilla in that first half he was the best player on the pitch I should have been sent off in the second half um, but you know the way he performed in the first half there was was, was uh, admirable and he was solid against Leicester in a 3-2 win I just think he's been okay I, I just think I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how he's hang, hanging on and uh, 
resurrected his Liverpool career, obviously got a good attitude, he's put his, you know, he's got his head down and got on with it, worked hard, kept his place, didn't want to move to Napoli or, or to Serie A, you know, or to take, take a step down at all. We've stayed at Liverpool and he's back in Klopp's plans, which you've got to say fair play. And hopefully, hopefully we don't see any silly mistakes, which you know he's capable of. Uh, moment of the month. Weren't many to choose from, um, weren't many goals, weren't many great sort of things to celebrate, but I'm going to go for Mignolet's save from Jamie Vardy's penalty against Leicester. Um, obviously went through one up in that game, they put it back to 3-2 straight away, and then the penalty is given, obviously that's Mignolet's mistake, and it just looks like we're going to crumble again, uh, and the win wouldn't come, but he saves it. He saves Vardy's penalty, he stops that momentum, and from there on in we defend well, and we see out the win. Huge, huge moment. Um, if we had not won that game in, against Leicester, it could have been a, a whole month without a win, six games. He did save it, we get the three points and now we can go to Newcastle on Sunday, get a win and then we're back sort of at a respectable pace again. Um, so w what a huge win, what a huge save that is for Mignolet. Um, you know, Vardy, a lot of his penalties go down the middle, he, he judged it well, he did his homework, punched it away, it was a really well struck penalty, you know, right down the middle, but a lot of pace on it, it can go through the keeper's hands. He punched it away brilliantly. Huge, huge moment. One that could be the turning point in the Liverpool's league campaign. Player of the Month, the most prestigious award. Uh, again, as I say, not many candidates because it was such a crap month, but I'm going to give it to Mohamed Salah. Um, more, you know, whether it's process of elimination or, or not, he scored three goals. Um, he, he, he was very wasteful against CSK Mos uh, sorry, Spartak Moscow. Um, he should, probably should have had one or two on the night and probably should have had one or two more across the whole month uh, you know, in every game. Um, that, that's the nature of him. He isn't a great finisher. He's very one-footed and even with his left foot, he, he can be wasteful. But he gets three goals. He gets in the right positions. He works hard. He's always a threat. He's got a lot of pace. He's very direct. Uh, he is still going to be a great investment at 30, 37 million, whatever it was, uh, regardless of the missed chances, I think. I mean, they are very frustrating and I would hope that, uh, that he can eradicate those. But for the time being, He's a great signing, he scores goals, he's going to get 20 goals in all competitions at least this season if he keeps up at this rate and we, we feel like he's missing loads of chances but he's still, you know, it, it, for club and country got 7 and 12 so far in this campaign so he, just, he deserves player of the month, I mean he got it officially for Liverpool last month, I think he's actually been slightly better this month so, you know, nice one to him, two attacking players, one player of the month so far, let's hope a defender wins it in October so that we can say we kept some clean sheets and got some nice little 1-0 and 2-0 wins in the league, that's what I'm hoping for against Newcastle on Sunday, but guys, those are the awards for September, it's not been an easy one to give out because, wow, thank God that's over, it's been hideous, hopefully it's just a blip, hopefully uh, you know, we've got an international break in this month as well, uh, in October, so you know, maybe, maybe that'll help us regroup uh, and regain some momentum when we come back against Man United at home after Newcastle and the international break. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. I'll be doing a Premier League September Awards show very, very soon after this weekend. Follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, and I will see you next time.